up you guys welcome back to my channel we back with another one you guys now go ahead and grab your utensils your gloves everything you need and start mixing it up now i'm pretty sure you guys know what to do when it comes to bleaching powder and the developer it's not very hard i'm pretty sure you guys know how to do everything from just watching my previous videos i feel like it wouldn't be important to repeat everything when I said it in like 50,000 times. But you know. Now you guys, this time I'm doing something different. I'm bleaching the beginning of the hair, of the roots. And then also I'm dyeing the, the front of the baby hair. Now, this is my first time ever doing this. I'm trying something different. And then also, I decided to cut the ends, as you guys can already see. Then, on top of that, I decided to dye the ends. Now, I wanted to switch it up. i never seen nobody do it this way. I usually see people, they dye, like, the middle part of the baby hair a blonde or a random color. But I decided to dye the baby hair from ear to ear now I did pull more than usual out because I'm just experimenting right now I think it's just a little bit of cool to do it this way now this is my first time ever doing this so please bear with me you guys so cute it is so cute now it actually came out awesome as you guys can see in the beginning of the video that it came out very 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 pretty and now you can see I dyed the ends. Now I didn't really show as much because um, I did not know I had the camera section in a different area. But as you can see, the ends are getting dyed. Now in the next clip, you guys are going to see how the hair came out after I washed it, it air dried. Now you guys, when you do this, make sure you air dry it. I air dry it. I did not put any type of heat in it. All I did was wet it, washed it, and you know, rinse everything out. Now, uh, I believe if you air dry it, it will come out more defined and more natural because it's being air dried as natural hair. And so by me doing this method, it came out 10 times better than usual. It's better than just blow drying and putting a lot of heat in there and then try to re-put the curl when you can just wet it and get the same thing. Now... It's coming together. Hold on tight. Now, I did not put no products in this um, hair. Only thing I did was I put water. And you guys going to see me spray some stuff on the hair. But only thing that I did was put water inside of a water bottle. Where it will a water spray bottle. And then just start spraying away. Spraying away, just spraying away, just spraying away. Okay, you guys. Now, yeah, and so that's really what I did. And I had gave myself a side part because this what type of day I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like a side part type of girl. Now, yeah, you can see I'm spraying, spraying away. I was kind of trying not to get it in my face, but it was working, but not working. But it was kind of like, ah! Now, as you can see, I am talking. I was talking to a friend of mine while I'm making this video. So bear with me. Please don't think I'm just talking to myself or don't think the audio is off. And it may go in a little bit fast because I had to speed it up to make the video fit the time frame. Now, yeah, they came out beautiful, you guys, beautiful.
Yes, y'all, look at that curl. Look at the curls in the back. Now, I did cut the back a little shorter to give it more of a bob curly look, which is, is very cute, you guys. I mean, cute. Look at her. And this is the final look of this look. It came out awesome, beautiful, and gorgeous. Now, the hair is not all the way dry. Now, I do believe if the hair was completely dry, it would um, be more noticeable of the parts that I bleach. Now, I did not bleach it too light. I just gave it more of a warm color. I didn't want to go too light because it wasn't going to look right. So, I did like more of a natural brown, just a little light tint to this hair. And thank you for enjoying and have a good day. God bless you.